So the Diddy man, Sean Combs is apparently under investigation by the feds. They came to his crib and I don't even want to be funny. I don't know if you know this. The day that they came to his crib for the raid was the same day that kicking the door dropped on life after death, which is insane to me. Like that's insane. What was your reaction? Destiny, like my man May said. It's destiny. Really? Shit, baby. Do you think that any of this like might be a situation where he's taking the fall for people who may be higher up? than he is in this type of sort of shenanigan? Do you think that that has anything to do with it? Because there are a lot of people who feel like, yo, this is an example of a black man with power being brought down when you have these other Weinsteins and Epsteins who don't face the same penalty. Um, I feel that way. I feel like, you know, once he kind of shook the boat over there at Diageo and called them racist, it's been it's been gunfire ever since. So, <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of, it's, it's one of those places where, you know, it's almost like, yeah, it's, it's it's influenced by something a little bit higher. Does he does, does he get any? Is there any truth or validity to the notion that like black people are responding to this with laughter because of our own trauma, or just the idea of being really almost eager to see another black man taken down? I think it's I think it's a, a both and not an either or. I think also that there's a there's a component of it in where we don't feel like once once a certain level of success is achieved, it's almost like they become unrelatable, as if we, we don't deserve to be that that great or that important, you know? I feel like there's a lot of people who are just like eager to watch a train wreck. You know what I'm saying? Like they have their own train wrecks in their lives. And so this Diddy thing unfolding, he might have been up here in the eyes of whomever in terms of what he did and who he was and what he had. But now that it's falling apart, whether he did it or he didn't, the way that it's falling apart, not necessarily that it's falling apart, but the manner in which it's falling apart, the fact that, like, you know what I'm saying, his kids got taken into custody, like, it's been such a public spectacle. I think people are, are it's almost sick to me that people are reveling in that part of it, not necessarily that he may be held accountable for things that he did, but the way that it's happening seems, people seem to get, like, an extra sense of enjoyment behind that. I agree. It's weird. Oh. Like that's like weird to me. It's not weird. It's just you know, it's it's it's, it's where we are. You know what I'm saying as a people, you know, mm -hmm. I, I wish I, I wish it was different, but it, it is what it is. You think his um? You think he lets his kids go down? <sighs> if he's if he's the devil that they're trying to paint him as, what kids? <laughs> you know, but you know, if he you know if he's a stand up strong brother, I mean, the kids theoretically aren't in the way. Well. They got the kids as part of the raid. Like they came, and uh, Justin, I believe, and King were there. I, 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 it was two of them. I don't remember which ones, but they took the kids away in handcuffs as part of the raid. No, no, no. They didn't wait. They just detained them as they executed the raid. They weren't. They weren't arrested. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, these these were the sit right here. Don't try to call them type of handcuffs. That's what that was. <laughs> yeah. Nah, ain't no. You ain't ain't no warning. Yeah. Ain't pressing nah. the button. <laughs> There's no pressing the button. Um, I just am worried that like this is part of a bigger thing, like a bigger cover up where it's like Diddy is becoming the fall guy for something else larger. That doesn't mean that he shouldn't be held responsible, but I think it makes it more complicated when you think about the fact that like this may be bigger than Nino Brown. Exactly. And you know what's beautiful about this? We don't have too many people in this position. So th these one offs, <laughs> they'll go down to history and it'll be over with. You think so? I know so. You know how it goes, baby. Well, what about Al, what about R. Kelly? What about him? He's on appeal right now. <laughs> you tell him. It'll, you know, smoke about to come. But I'm saying, you said we don't have that many. I mean, you have R. Kelly, you got Diddy. Like, we got mad predators in community, huh? You think so? We got, we, yeah, we got enough predators. We got too many predators in community. So I don't, I don't know about that one. Now, Predators who have the type of access that can do the things that... Oh, predators. I thought you said we got mad bread in the community. Oh, no, That's we what... got mad predators in community. Oh, yeah. The whole com the, the community is a predatory community. Really? That's it. harsh. Come on, now. The community is a predatory community? You, you, yes. You standing by that? Whenever you, don't, you know, whenever you don't respect your women, it becomes a predatory community. Whenever you devalue your women, it becomes predatory. Wow, so you think that because we've devalued our women that we've allowed oh, yeah. the community to become predatory? 
That's 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 the jackpot. You dish your, you dish your girl, you turn it to Diddy, <laughs> and then you get called out. Hmm. And there it is. There it is.